Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Over the Limit pre-show. Yeah, I do pre-shows. I do a lot of wrestling content. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Subscribe, comment, and share the video. And uh, we're going to start off the night tonight with the European Championship is on the line to start it tonight. And tonight, tonight... When the Women's Championship, the SmackDown Live Women's Championship is on the line as Becky Lynch takes on the NXT Women's Champion, Asuka. Can the man, can the man make the Empress kneel down to the man? We'll see if that happens tonight. We'll also see the Tag Team Championships in a triple threat match. Triple threat tag team showdown in the ladder match. As the club defend their titles against the show-offs, Dolph Ziggler and Jinder Mahal. And they defend their titles also in that matchup against Drama Show, Aiden English, and The Big Show. We'll see what happens there. And the main event tonight, man. You can't forget about the main event. There's there's plenty of matches. Which I will get into discussion as the night goes through. But the main event is the championship matchup between... Dirty Dean Ambrose defending his title against Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens. That's going to be quite the matchup. But right now, what's going to unfold in front of our eyes is the European Championship matchup. Rusev came out in an episode of SmackDown and said, I'm tired of one-on-one -on -one matches. I'm tired of that. Let's do everybody. Everybody come out and let's see who can step up to the plate and take my European Championship away. And these are all the people who have accepted that challenge. Our truth, Apollo Cruz, a former NXT champ, an NXT Europe, an NXT, NXT North American champion, Apollo Cruz, definitely trying to make a big statement here on SmackDown Live. He's got a victory over a man like Rhino, so definitely wants to become a European champion and dethrone Rusev, who's been that European champion for God knows how long. <laughs> Felt like forever, man. Uh, but Rusev said, hey, European champion for a reason. Fandango, who definitely would love to get himself in that. He sees his partner, Tyler Breeze, receiving title shots on Raw, having title matches. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen Tyler Breeze in action, but Fandango making his way into the ring here as Over the Limit. Man, this is our second Over the Limit. The first one, I loved it. Let's see how SmackDown Live does the second edition of Over the Limit here tonight. Again, guys, Rusev's title reign has it's gone on for quite a bit. Rusev's title reign has begun ever since he's been here on the main roster. Rusev has not relinquished that, and I still have my dollar bill. My dollar bill, I'm betting that Rusev will retain tonight. That's very simple to tell. Like, honestly, yeah, Fandango, tough competition. Apollo Crews, tough competition. Our truth everybody in this matchup is tough competition. But here's the thing. Rusev is smart. He'll let them all handle each other. He'll wait for the right moment and take them all out of the ring in this one. And Rhino, even Rhino says, hey, I'll try to get in this. Why not? Get a European Championship out of it. Why not put myself in that? And Rhino, who I'm pretty sure right now wants to get a little measure of revenge on Apollo Crews and eliminate Apollo Crews for embarrassing him in that first matchup. Uh, Cruz beat Rhino like nothing in this first matchup, and Apollo's like, hey, you know, it's, it's a good win to get someone who believes themselves a locker room leader. Titus O'Neil out here, too. So, everybody's just out here. Oh! <laughs> I, uh, okay, Kane! It could actually be the second favorite. If not Rusev, I think Kane will be the next European champion. The big red monster, the big red machine. Definitely. Definitely somebody uh, who can take over this matchup. Someone who can destroy this matchup. Someone who can win this title. He's a former WWE champion, a world champion, a tag team champion, a hardcore champion. You name it, and I'm sure Kane has done it. 
Oh, these Curtis Axel. Oh, definitely would love to add some, some goal for the show sealers here. Would love to uh, get in that talk and that mix and represent the show sealer as well. Imagine they can have a big night tonight. Ziggler told all his people and his crew, I'm going to get you guys all championships. All of us are going to be champions. Don't worry about that. That's, how, that's what the big driving point was to get Jinder Mahal into the team. And as Curtis is making his way down the ring, well, I'll let you guys know tonight, this pre-show is going to be big. Four matches on the pre-show tonight. The European Championship is just the beginning of it. Several tag team matches. Big one, Luchao's party against the Colognes. The Riot Squad against... Bailey and Ember Moon and a one-on-one -on -one matchup between Lana and Natalia. That is what is to be expected here in the pre-show of Over the Limit. We're also expecting big matches on the pay-per-view. John Cena and Samoa Joe going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Brock Lesnar is going to be on the pay-per-view to the challenge. He's Slater. He's Slater. If Slater can pull off the impossible, he will be given a WWE Championship matchup an Intercontinental Championship matchup, a SmackDown Tag Team Championship, a European Championship. And it's just it's just crazy. He'll be given title matches here and there. He'll get the chance to become a champion. He Slater will be given the Golden Goose, but he needs to defeat the Beast, Brock Lesnar. It's a dream. The Intercontinental Championship will also be on the line as well, and the Women's United States Championship also on the line. Let's go! It's time to start this battle royale. Power slam by Kane already. And Titus O'Neil focusing on the down. Curtis Axel, Rusev on Fandango. And Truth and uh, Truth and Cruz going here. This is all getting wild. It's a lot of people. And there goes Kane! Kane, the first elimination of the match. I did not think that would happen. And now, it's, it's getting crazy. I like this. I like what I'm seeing. Arusa down. Rhino. It's, a, it's seven men right now in the ring. All buying for the chance to be the European champion. And again, this is all just playing out. Rusev over there. Playing it slowly. Rusev like, I got to play this smart. I got to be smart about this. I can't let these guys think I don't have it. Titus sees, Titus sees the, that Rusev's trying to chill, and Titus taken down by Rusev. And now Rhino on the verge of being eliminated by Fandango. That's not where you want to be, and a, Rusev's getting his muscle on right now. And now Curtis Axel focusing on the European champion. Axel picking up Rusev. Rusev taken down right there. As now Rhino trying to get rid of Fandango. And Rusev on the, oh, Rusev better get out of that spot. That's a bad spot to be in, buddy boy. Everybody right now trying to focus on what they've got in front of them. Rusev in that corner over there. Odd man out. Might as well rest it. Rhino on the verge of being eliminated. And Rusev running away from our truth. Our truth's telling him, I got you. You're about to be eliminated, Buster Brown. And truth trying to eliminate the champ. And there goes the champion. Oh, we're going to have a new champion. Oh, we're definitely going to have a new champion. As Rusev's reign has come to an end. Rusev's time as the champion is over. As now, Fandango's chances are done too. Fandango's gone. It's now going to come down to Titus. Our truth Curtis Axel, Rhino, or Apollo Cruz. And Cruz is on the verge of being eliminated by Rhino. Rhino would love to do that. Eliminate Cruz. But Rhino stops Cruz from getting any momentum there. And Titus getting rid of the truth. And that's going to be done for our truth Our truth is out of this one. And now Rhino being picked up by Titus. It is down to the four men. Axel, Cruz, O'Neal, and Rhino. One of these men will walk out of here with the European Championship. And wait a second. Where is Axel going here? Axel... Trying to toss him over. Axel gets rid of the big hua, hua, hua. As Axel has eliminated Titus O'Neil. And Axel right now looking good. Getting the momentum on his side. This is what he wanted. Axel now dealing with Rhino. Rhino DDT's Axel. 
And Rhino might be feeling it. Rhino might be getting it all together. And if he's able to do that, Rhino might be the next European champion. Rhino trying to eliminate Axel. Rhino trying to get an Axel out of the air. And Apollo Crews says, hey, I'll help you out. These two guys who not are not always on the same page have just released Axel out of the ring. It's going to be Crews. It's going to be Rhino. Apollo Crews made a SmackDown debut against Rhino. What a better way for Rhino to get revenge uh, for losing that one than by winning the European Championship against Apollo Crews. Rhino. It's Crews sweeps the leg. Apollo now calling it up. He wants Rhino to get up. And what's about to happen is the strength of Apollo. Just look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! Gorilla press. Man, baby. And look at the into a standing moonsault. My God. Apollo now. Apollo now grabbing Rhino. And Rhino better watch himself because here comes Cruz and Cruz. It's a new era. Pan champion. Apollo Cruz does the job here. And Cruz wins his first big championship on the main roster. The former NXT North American Champion is your new European Champion. Apollo gonna celebrate tonight. Apollo has got the mission though. Defend that title at all costs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this match originally was supposed to be a two-on-two -two tag team matchup. Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan against Bailey and Ember Moon. But I guess somehow the Riot Squad have made this into a handicap match. And I, I don't think Bailey and Ember Moon mind, but it's not going to be in the best interest of them. You know, I don't think they mind because, hey, if they can beat the Riot Squad at full, at full squad, he could shut them up and be done with them for forever. And if they can defeat the Riot Squad tonight, the Riot Squad might not even exist much longer. But Bailey and Ember Moon, if there's any two women on the roster right now that aren't named Becky Lynch and Asuka that could take down the Riot Squad, it's these two ladies, Bailey and Ember Moon. You know, Ember, you know, Ember Moon was just dragged into it. She just said, you know what, Bailey needs a partner. Bailey needs someone to have her back. You know, this all started. When Ruby Riot blamed her loss on Bailey, you know, she was on NXT, Ruby Riot competing for the championship, and, and she lost. And and Bailey was there to support Oscar, to make sure there was no funny business from the Riot Squad. And she blames Bailey for that loss. But here is someone who I believe has the talent to be, oh, to be the next challenger for a championship. It could be the Women's U.S. Championship. It could be the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Hell, it could even be the Tag Team Championship when they come about. Ember Moon has had big matches, has competed against some of the biggest uh, wrestlers we can here in the WWE. Ember Moon is ready. Ember Moon has taken down Natalia. Natalia, she led our division for a long time here. She was the face of our women's division for a while. The former Divas champion, former, former big time face of the division. Ember Moon took her down a peg. And now Ember Moon Open the hey, we can take down the riot squad. Another another list, another list of things that I've done here already in such a short time. But again, but again, thing is, it's a three-on-two match. No matter how good you are, 
You're just a human being at the end of it. It's going to affect you. Ruby Riot and the Riot Squad want to come in here and take over. Ruby said, hey, I would have been fine. Bailey, if she didn't stick her nose in my business, I would have been on NXT reigning as the NXT Women's Champion alongside Liv and Sarah. But no, Bailey wanted to stick her nose in my business, so I had to come up here and show her why you should never mess with the riot squad it's gonna be ruby and bailey and that's the match i was hoping to start off the show and i like this i like this match of bailey gonna get the chance to shut up ruby riot once and for all right now and ruby better watch yourself because ruby's in trouble here because now bailey's got her over there hanging by the rope and bailey's got her hanging by a moment here with you bam let's go and again Bailey was like, you know what, Ruby, I don't know why you think I cost you your match. I didn't even involve myself in the match, but okay. Whatever excuses you want to make for lose, for being a loser, that's cool. And, you know, Ruby now has the mindset of, hey, let's take down Bailey. Let's get some measure of revenge. Get that championship, get that women's championship. And hell, why not even get the tag team titles while we're at it? The Riot Squad want to take over SmackDown Live, but... I know women like Bailey and Ember Moon and wait a second. Oh, look at Ruby. So, so talented, man. But I know women like Bailey, women like Ember, women like Becky will not allow the Riot Squad to just walk in here and take over. They're not going to allow that to happen. You're going to have to take these women down. And you start tonight. That's where the Riot Squad start. They start tonight by taking down these challenges. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they have what it takes, but hey. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. As here comes Sarah Logan. The Viking. The Viking princess as she like to call herself or whatever the hell she wants to call herself nowadays. I'm just I'm just here, man. I'm just here chilling. right now lowering with the big knee right there logan right now taking her frustrations out on bailey bailey's gonna have to make that tag but again this right here is the advantage that the riot squad have they get they can keep making tags they can keep making tags to the fresher opponents they get more arrest they get more of everything and bailey just tossed to the outside and again there's nowhere you can run there's nowhere you can hide and look at lives going after ember Liv knocks down ember moon are you serious Ref, are you serious, bro? Get your game together, ref. Get your stuff together because this is an embarrassment on you. And wait, Bailey's like, I'm going to try to get the roll up. I'm going to try to actually beat her like this. Maybe I can get the win. Maybe I can get out of here. No kick out, though, by Liv. Liv's like, ah, uh, it's not going to happen like that. Not tonight. And Liv Morgan switches it up. And now Liv says, uh, uh got to do this to you. Switch it around on the wall. Bailey counters. And Bailey's like, all right, come on, Ember. It's, it's time for you to prove to these women that what they don't know, that you're one tough son of a biscuit. Here comes Ember. Drop down, jump up, top it down, finish her off. Power slam by Ember Moon. And Ember right now, close it, man. Close this matchup. End this. Uh, she saw that she was trying to get that tag, and guess what? Uh, not going to happen. And Ember is like a ball of fire. The war goddess right now. And oh, let's look at Sarah Logan with the head, but though knocks down. Knocks her down, man. Come on. Knocks down Ember. And Ember's like, I am not afraid of that kind of fight. Knocks down Logan, but Ruby's back and Ruby knocked out. And Liv Morgan from behind. Roll up. Oh no! No! No, 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 no. You got no no. You can't end this. You can't end this like this. And the kick out though by, by Moon. Moon was able to get out of that. But again, that could have been it. Again, that's what it shows you right there. Again, the advantage the Riot Squad have. You have to knock out two of them before you can get a pinfall on them. That's going to help out. Those couple seconds are going to help the... That's going to help them out. And right now, the Riot Squad back into it. Ruby and Ember. And Ruby's going after... Oh, got her right there. Chopping her up right here. And this is not... Not where the Riot Squad uh, pictured themselves, and they probably thought this match would be over by now. But Ember Moon and Baylor are going to be a lot tougher to do to beat than uh, than just a five-minute matchup. They're going to be tough. 
as here comes Ember Moon. High risk is her game and a drop kick miss. As Ruby Riot says, yeah, you're not going to get that. Sorry. Ruby Riot is dealing with Ember the way she wants to do it with right here. Slowing the pace, just kicking and punching. And knocked down right there. Ember Moon is down. And Bailey is telling Ruby, like, yeah, what, what are you going to do, huh? And Ruby oh, knocks down Bailey. Are you serious? And now Ruby might be thinking it's time to end this one. Ruby might be thinking it's time to end this one. Oh, Ruby thought she had something there. Guess what? You had nothing, homie. And now the Riot Squad. Riot. Gonna bounce her off. Oh, two blacks right there. Running for that. Look at this. Trying to get that pinfall. It ain't gonna happen, shoddy. Jack Hardbreaker! Pinfall! Logan is gonna try to get the win here in Ember Moon! Resiliency. I love that about Ember. Not ever gonna give up on a fight that easily. You gotta do your work. You're gonna have to do your job to take down the goddess of the war. And here we go. But again, how much how much damage can Ember Moon take? How much can she take? How much can she deal with it? There you go! <laughs> that's like a that's like a Mortal Kombat kind of kick right there. And Liv though counters it now. Liv says, here's a knee. And here is head scissors wrap. Game over, sister. And Liv Morgan celebrating right now. Head scissors. And Liv Morgan talking trash. And you were talking trash too much. But look at Ember. Ember's crawling up to her. Like, I'm going to fight you. I'm not done yet. Drop kick. And Liv Morgan again talking more smack and more smack and more smack. High risk time by the original Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan, live high, let's fly, let's go. Liv Morgan with that. Liv Morgan is going to go in. Oh, Ruby Riot says, I've made the stop. And Ruby and, Li and the Riot squad. And Liv takes down Amber and just move. Oh, wow. The disrespect there. I don't care what you say. That was disrespect. Liv Morgan trying to get this wrapped up. And Liv is talking trash. And because you're talking trash, you're about to get a little piece of Bailey. Bailey's like, that's it? Come on. Like, that's get up. Come on, get up. And now here comes Liv again. And Bailey. Danny T. Telling the Riot Squad, I'm in this now, baby. I'm going to end your team. And I'm going to get the win here for us. And Bailey has knocked out every member of the Riot Squad. And Bailey, 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 yes! It's game, it's match, it's over. And all oh, that's saved by Ruby Riot. And Bailey is like, no, but Ruby stops that there. But that was it, that was the match. That was the match. If Ruby didn't make the save, it would have been game. And Ruby again foils uh, Bailey's plan. And again, Ruby is just kicking the lights out of her. And Bailey wants to fight with uh, with Ruby here. But Ruby is too good right now. And Liv Morgan's there. That's his wrap. Bam! Bailey's in trouble as the Riot Squad have their have Bailey in that corner. And look at Liv in between Bailey and Ember telling them, you want to make that tag? No. Don't submission! The submission, look at that right there, trying to pull her away. They're gonna pull her arms off here. Bailey! Bailey again, smart right here. Bailey again, doing whatever she can to make sure she doesn't lose it for her team, making sure she keeps this alive for her squad, for her team of her and Ember. And uh, look at Lev Morgan removing <laughs> Bailey out of the ring, removing her out of the situation.
watching this match. I'm watching this match as a fan. Like I said, that I'm watching this match as a fan right now. And I'm watching Bailey come back. And Bailey trying to lead the charge one more time. Bailey's getting it all together, man. This is the heart and soul of Bailey. This is what makes Bailey who she is. One tough son of a gun. And Bailey, get it done, Bailey. Get the win. Defeat the Riot Squad and get the hell out of Dodge. Bailey is going high risk. Bailey Tucker and Raskin. No, didn't pay off. Didn't pay off. And Sarah Logan says, I'm going to stop the momentum you've got right now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Did she really just stop this? Bailey's on the ground. Logan. Is trying to knock down Ember Moon, but look at Ember Moon. The fight to not get knocked out. And she's like, hey, you want to keep coming at me? I'm going to knock you out. And Logan better just quit and go after Bailey. Smart right there. Just, if Moon's going to keep knocking you out, don't don't go after her. Just go to your squad and you go take care of business there. And what? Whoa, she just went through the rope. That's a, ooh, That was crazy. We're going to be on Batchamania. Can't wait. Sign us now. And this here is a Riot Squad again. Throwing Bailey, God damn, that is not, that's not good. Got kicked to the midsection. That was just her trying to make a, that, that that message clear. Loud and clear, but I am not playing these games. Logan, leg sweep. Punches, chops, punches. Chops, punches, chops, chops, punches, and bulldog by Sarah Logan. Sarah trying to get the win. Oh, she went for a pull. Those punches are not going to work the way they do. The way he got her. Suplex. Penfall. Kick out. Kick to the back of uh, Sarah Logan. And wait a second. What is this by Logan? Go! Go, night knees. Those are good night knees. Those are, that's it. That's game closer. That's game night. That's what's done. This match is over. This match is over. And Bailey kicks out, though. I don't know where she found that ability to kick out. But Bailey and Ember are not going to give up. This is a pre-show matchup, ladies. Bailey to Bailey! Yes! Do it! Do it! Ref! Ref! That's it! Come on! Come on! The ref said it was a rope break, but that should have been done. Bailey, though, now feeling the effects here of this two-on-three matchup. And Ember right now has been held up. And now Ruby. Oh, my God. This is getting wild. This match is getting tough. Bailey and Ember, the more this match goes on, the harder it's going to be for you guys. And look at Logan. Logan's like, I'm going to make the tag in the Ruby. And Bailey's like, let's go, Ruby. But Ruby's like, oh, that's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. You're going to get me now. Ruby Riot with that kick right there. Inseguri, man. Look like an Inseguri. Or is that what the Riot? No. Was that the Riot kick? Is that the Riot kick? Again, the ref stopping Ember Moon and Ruby. Like, what are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Went for a punch. There, nothing there. Now Bailey with the elbows. The elbows to Ruby. Ruby counters. Ruby Riot roll up. Ruby with a kick to the side of the head. Knocks down Ember Moon. Ruby Riot about to put this to bed. Ruby lay it. Stunner. Sutton Liv Morgan, we're going to end this one, Liv, okay? Like, I'm going to jump all the way across the ring and beat the crap out of her. With Bailey not moving at all, and Ruby's going to go like, why not try to beat her like this? But I kick out by Bailey there. And the crowd 
trying to get Bailey and Ember back into this one, but the Riot Squad are in control. There's go. Let's go, Bailey. Let's go. Oh no, no, no. Ruby's like, uh, yeah, not gonna happen. Suplex by Ruby Riot. These ladies fighting back, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Ruby's telling her, let's go. And Ember's like, yeah, you should have handled me. Why you caught him? Look at that kick by Ember. Ember again with that kick. Ember with those kicks. I love him back to back. She ain't afraid, man. She ain't afraid of this. She ain't afraid of the moment. She ain't afraid of showing Ruby Riot what she's got. And Ember's going high risk. And Liv Morgan's going to try to catch her before she could take flight. And Ember Moon is calling out. Calling her up. Call up to Eclipse. Yes! Eclipse! She nailed the Eclipse, but didn't get the pinfall. But she's going back up top. And Ember's like, let's go again. Ember's like, let's go again. Another Eclipse. Yes! She is going for overkill, but I like it. If you're going to put down the Riot Squad, do it like that. But Lev Morgan says, no, you only live once. And again, that's the part right there that's going to suck the most. You have to do your move like that, and then you have to knock out the other team. And what? 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 I'm just in, I am in shock and awe right now of the moment that just happened and just occurred. The Riot Squad are victorious, but again, it went to show you that three on two was just too much, man. Ember hit two Eclipse on Ruby Riot, tried to take down the rest of the Riot Squad. It didn't happen, it didn't roll that way. And the Riot Squad are walking out of this pre-show with a win. Lana, who has been on a mission to prove that she can get better, that she can be a wrestler, that she can compete in the ring with the best of them. It's been ups and downs, yeah, maybe a win here and there, but it's not been enough to say, yeah, Lana is definitely deserving of a championship matchup. You know, it's it's not that kind of situation. It's not that kind of not that kind of moments. Lana can definitely be someone special. But you got to give it time. Got to give it time. And uh, I guess this is a good matchup for her. But Natalia says, hey, you're, you're only here because of your looks. You're not here because you can wrestle. You're not here because of that. you're just Rusev's manager. And you're just here because of your looks. And that's, that's all it is. It's like, you know, people like you are wasting the roster spaces for people I could be teaching and making better wrestlers. But Natalia has also been mad about this new influx of women coming up to the main roster from NXT says hey they don't pay their dues and they just disrespect me and they should just lay down for me and I can beat them and they can beat them into some humbleness and they can realize who the hell the coin is and uh you know you know you know the queen of hearts definitely 
definitely, definitely deserve the respect she's done. But if you can't keep up with the time, you start falling behind, then, you know, it, it is what it is. And uh, Becky Lynch proved that against Natalia at WrestleMania and several months after that, the month after that. And now Natalia and Lana here. And Natalia definitely knows if she can beat, oh, if she can beat Lana, it will uh, put her back in a situation of confidence. And if you don't want to give Natalia confidence, if you give Natalia confidence, she will show you why she could be the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. And Natalia squad, and again, Natalia's just been a great talent here in WWE. Either she's, even if she's been champion, if she hasn't been champion, she's just been a treat to have. Definitely a locker room leader, like she likes to say, but not the way she goes up goes about it the way she goes about it is saying yeah you guys all owe me this this is my, my the reason this is happening is because of me she goes around with that kind of attitude it's not not the, not the way we you know we we like it it's not the way we do this you can't go around with that bravado bravado and then think you're gonna get away with it no 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 uh but right now natalia in control of lana and this could be a this could be a bad matchup for Lana. Right? Lana's being a Nia Jax, so I don't know. That was when Lana. No, that was a Nia Jax was the number one contender for the women's championship. I'm just just throwing that out there, you know. Lana can pull up upsets. That's the one thing she can do. But she doesn't want them to be upsets anymore. She wants them to be like, oh, Lana won. It's expected of it. That's what Lana wants. Lana wants to have that kind of moment, you know, momentum. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight over the Lemon Man, that women's championship will be on the line. Both of them will be on the line. The SmackDown Live Women's Championship and the United States Championship. Naomi's going to take on Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox, who's trying to become Captain America by winning that championship. Naomi's like, that girl's just insane. There's just so much going on in that head. Becky Lynch, who would love, would love to have... Uh, Asuka defend her NXT Women's Championship and take another championship and possibly become a double champ. Becky, two belts we could have had. But uh, Re William Regal said no to that idea. So it is what it is. And Lana now trying to go for the pin there. It's not going to happen there. And Lana with the big side kick. It didn't go anywhere. Natalia now. Norlite suplex. Pinfall. Game. Match. Set. Natalia. Oh, kick out by Lana. But as I was saying. That's the little bit too big women's matches tonight on the card. And oh, Lana. Oh, Lana's got something here. Lana might have something here. Got the kick here. Lana using the top rope. I like this. Lead. Lana's keeping herself in the match. It's no longer a squash. It's no longer Lana just losing like that. Lana calling up Natty. Lana drop. Oh, missed a drop kick. Oh, Natty by nature. And Natty's got the sharpshooter, but in a bad position. Natty needs to be smarter than that. Lana, though, the pain is too excruciating. And Lana tapping out just like that. And Natty saying, I made her tap. I made her quit, and I made her give the hell up. She didn't stand a chance against me. Sorry. Look at that Northern Light suplex right there. Beautiful. Natty by nature, sharpshooter. All of it was just crazy enough to say, yeah, that's what I'll oh, come on. Natty, no. Natalia says, I'm going back out there. I'm going to knock her out. I'm going to take her down. Come on. this That's just enough. I'm not. I'm done. I'm not. I'm done. I'm, I'm walking out of this. This is just, I don't need to see this. What is she? What are you doing? Power pop. Come on. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Not This submission isn't necessary either. This is her. So, see, this is what I told you. This is a bad confidence boost right here for Natty. She gets this kind of confidence boost. She does things like this. So that's just... You know what? Let's go to our main... Just cut this. Get us, get us out of this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last match. Before we kick off over the limited, if you have not ordered over the limit yet on pay-per-view, what the hell are you doing? Come on, come on, come on. 
As here we go. It is a Colognes. And apparently El Majo has become a six-man match. Lucha House Party against the Colognes and El Majo. And there we go. We get to see El Majo in action for the first time. A lot of people are saying and indicating that it is Carlito. But again, I got to tell you, that body does not match Carlito's output. I'm just saying. It's not Carlito. People got to stop doing that. But Grand Malik. I'm done. Grand Malik. It is a treasure that we've got here in WWE. And if you want to ever catch Grand Malik, catch him on 205 Live. The man is doing great things down there alongside Lince Dorado. And even Kalisto is a great guy. Derwin, look at look at Malik showing off here. And I'm liking this. Lucha House Party has come out of the gate. And remember, we're waiting to see when they introduce these tag team championships or how it's going to crown the first ever uh, Cruiserweight Tag Team Champions. Because it's going to happen. Drake Maverick says it's going to happen. I'm just waiting for teams to establish and teams to see who plays well and who deserves a spot at that. And we'll see. Right now, look at that backbreaker right there. I like that backbreaker there. And Metal League, again, is just dominating right now. The Colognes, who have been much better than this uh, up to their loss, I guess. But they've been much better than this. And they're, they're going to have to prove that they're much better than this. I know they can prove that they're much better than this. I know they can do that. They're a great team. They are... Oh! <laughs> Epico trying to close them out there. But Primo's holding on to Malik saying, hey, good job. And the Colognes. That's what makes them so dangerous. Again, they are now fighting for a new... The Colognes no longer just wanting to be members of the roster and get paid. They are no longer wanting to be those guys. They want to be out in the ring. They want to be putting their family legacy with a good name they want to show the world what they're able to do and primo and epico look at it oh he took flight and he didn't go nowhere with that he didn't go nowhere with that and malik oh shit grand malik took flight and he loves doing things like that that's that's the beauty of grand malik just able to fly i like that you know primo and epico they got tired of just being thrown, told, hey, just go in the back, and that's it. Just get paid. Oh, my God! That primo got the hell out the way, but Malik landed, like, straight on his head. Oh, that was a nasty fall right there from Malik. That's the danger of high-risk maneuvers. But here comes El Majo. Double back cracker. Backstabber, double back. I don't care what the hell we're going to call that. That hurts. And El Majo now. What, what is this? El Majo with the bulldog. We're going to see... El Mahu and who he truly is. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we're getting the arm. Oh, the arm squished out. Golly. And now El Mahu kicking the lights out of him and trying to get the best of him here. And El Mahu says, Grab me your hand. Watch what I'm going to do. Got you. Game. And El Mahu, who a lot of people feel like may be the reason why the Colognes. Or in this now. Who knows who is under that mask? I don't know who's under that mask. But it's giving the colognes a breath of fresh air. El Majo sweeps the leg. He just he just slid that. And El Majo's looking to close it out as El Majo about to pull off the win for the colognes. Woohoo! Ah, Mustafa Ali under there? I feel like it's Mustafa Ali under that mask. Pinfall and a ah, save there. Lucha House Party's like, ah, we're gonna make sure we survive this one. Again, these six man tags. Can get very chaotic and very long and very wild. Saves like that will keep you going. And Grand Malik trying to fire in one last hurrah and gonna go for the attack of Lince Dorado. The Golden Phoenix, the Golden Lynx, or whatever the hell he's gonna call himself now. I don't know. The Golden Cat, the Golden Man named Lince Dorado. Here we go. Lince, elbow. Let's go. Where's he going here? Lince Dorado going high risk. The work ethic of Lince Dorado and elbow to the heart. Saw a cologne coming around and said, I got to jump off this rope as fast as possible. So he didn't get everything out of that. But hey, it's brought down El Majo. And El Majo is no longer looking like the hot, the hot shit of the match, man. He was on a roll. And look at Lince. Now Lince is on a roll. I felt that shot over here. And ooh, twist the arm and do something crazy. That's why we love Lucha House Party here. They're always willing to do whatever they gotta do. And look at that. Smart by El Majo. Getting himself out of the ring. And Primo Colon now in the ring. Knocking down Lince in a clothesline. That will expel Lince out of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not...
got your hands yet on the WWE Network or on the pay-per-view for Over the Limit. What are you going to do, man? This is going to be crazy and wild. It's going to be a night tonight where championships are on the line, where a grudge, a big grudge match is about to happen, a dream match in Joe and John Cena. Kalisto firing off right now. But holy hell, Brock Lesnar might be firing off later on like that on East Slater. And here comes Kalisto with that big kick to the side of the head. We will also see the Tag Team Championships on the line. The first ever SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. Selena Del Sol countered Power Slam by God! What a counter by Primo! Primo just pulled off the win! God, Kalisto kicks out the former Intercontinental Champion. What? Oh, what a transition there. But again, I, before I was just interrupted by that, beautiful skills, beautiful sets right there. Holy hell. We'll see the Tag Team Championships on the line. This first ever Tag Team Champions of SmackDown Live. Hoping to keep their title reign alive. They've been champions since February. They've been champions. The Backstabber! Backstabber by Primo. Game. Is it going to be a single go go the former Intercontinental Champion is finding ways to kick out and survive. Kalisto, whatever he can, but El Mao is there. And Epico with a kick, and my god. Uh, but before I'm again interrupted, the Tag Team Champions, the club, will take on their title. Will take their title, sorry, and put him up above the ring in a ladder match against, oh my god, Lex Drop. Oh, that's a pinfall. Hold on. Pinfall. Pinfall. Kalisto down. And I kick out my Kalisto down. The club will defend their tag team championships in a ladder match against the drama show and the show stealers in a hell of a match that can go any way possible. And then we're gonna have the Intercontinental Championship on the line with the most must-see Intercontinental Champion of all time, the Miz takes on Sami Zayn and look at Sole! Fucking Kalisto is putting on a clinic and putting on a show. He's surviving, doing whatever he can. A kick out by Omaha. A kick to the back there. Now a tag in to Lince Dorado. Dorado now is going to have to do Dorado things. I don't know, man. Kalisto's taking a B in. Kalisto has delivered some big time moves. Dorado speed again has to be how he defeats Omaha. Spinning DDT. You'll also get to see tonight if you order the pay-per-view of the Over the Limit. You'll also get to see the United States Champion, the Women's United States Championship on the line when Naomi takes on Alicia Fox. First ever Women's Champion hoping to have another successful title defense. And Kalinsey, Lindsay took a risk and El Mago will make him pay. Mago slides. Mago picking up. Lindsay. Lindsay in trouble. Lindsay's getting smacked around here. But now Mago turns it around. That's how you do it. That's how you do this type of wrestling. That's how you do this type of, type of tag team wrestling. Mago do whatever he can right now. I don't know, he's, he's recuperating right here. Grabbing his strength behind him. This is DDT. DDT! Let's go! Really end this one. Well, Al Maho put boots to faces here. Ah, oh, big shot right there. We'll also be able to catch the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line for the first time ever. Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, takes on the NXT Women's Champion, Asuka. Will Asuka finally be defeated tonight here at Over the Limit? Or will the man stop being the man? And will Asuka, the Empress, make the man bow down? And oh, Maho went for something crazy. It didn't happen. And Lindsay's like, I'll meet you here. Watch this. Going to get away from that. Lindsay going to take flight. What's Lindsay up to? Lindsay, no salt on <laughs> the down cologne. And El Maho's down right now still. And Lindsay's focus is on the wrong person. Jawbreaker. Pay attention to El Maho. You can't sleep on him. And Omago like, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the win like this. A countout win could be the way this match ends. This match could end by countout. And then again, you don't want to miss the opportunity of a lifetime for Heath Slater. 
If he can defeat Brock Lesnar, Heath Slater will get a championship match at every single title that's on SmackDown Live. But he has to beat Brock Lesnar for that. And then the main event, man. The main event is going to be crazy. A triple threat matchup that's going to put Dean Ambrose in a big fight against the big dog. Big dog, Roman Reigns. And the former WWE champion, the prize fighter himself, Gavin Owens. That will be the main event of Over the Limits. But right now, these guys are trying to do whatever in any way to find a win here. Find a win, find a win, and there's a save by Primo. And anything right now, look at Primo trying to do something here. Primo is, is goading on Lindsay, and Lindsay takes care of that. Oh, Lindsay got stopped there. El Majo now says, hey, in front of your boy here, in front of your boy, Kalisto, I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put you down in front of your man. And that's a suplex. This could be game. Brainbuster, no, no, countered by Lindsay. Lindsay, spinning DDT. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a lot of spins. I don't know how Lindsay can even be where he's at right now. Here comes Kalisto. See now Maho and Kalisto's like, come on, Epico. Let's go. Let's end this show. Let's end this show down here. Let's go. Lucha House Party. And the colognes with El Maho. And here we go. Cologne time. It's Epico. Epico slides down. Epico jump up, drop down. Kalisto is about a Maho way. Kalisto better put it together here. Better find something. The former Intercontinental Champion has been good tonight, but he's only so much he can take. Look at these suplexes now. Bye. Bye. Epico. Epico. Going to go for three. Wait a, super, wait a second. Look at that. That's impressive. Epico. Says, hey, I've seen what you've been able to do. i got to put you down. But Kalisto working his magic here. Kalisto. Oh, no. No, no. Epico. Hooks it. Drops it. Double knees to the face. Look at that. Straight down to earth. You're done. The Colognes. The legacy of the Cologne. Kick out. A kick out. A kick out. How the hell, man? Roll up, though. And a big kick right there. How is this possible? How are you still in this? Kalisto fighting with everything, man. The leader of the Lucha House Party showing you why he's the leader. The toughness, the heart of Lucha House Party comes from Kalisto. And right now, El Majo's telling Epico, get me in. I'm going to close it out. Get me in. And Kalisto's back up, though. Kalisto's conscious again. And Kalisto sees the moment. There it is. Selena del Sol. Oh, hey. Selena del Sol. Selena del Sol. And El Majo makes the save. Oh, my God. I thought that was good. And Kalisto's gonna focus on on, on El Maro now. Goes after he was going after El Maro. I don't think it's a smart thing to go after him again. Epic goes down, but what are you gonna do here? Tag into Lince. Lince. Haven't seen Metal Leak in a while. Then Lince and Kalisto. And look at this. Oh, I like this. Look at this pinfall. Open. That could be the way to beat him. Oh, Primo's there to break it up. And now Kalisto's in there. Cause I got your back, man. I got your back. And Lindsay better watch himself as he's fighting for a life here. Again, I'm I'm really impressed by both teams right now. Their toughness, their heart this match has been going up for a while. And non-stop action from both teams. Lindsay Dorado is trying to close him out. There's an answer. Good. Let's go. But again, it's taking a toll on man. The length of this match is taking a toll on them. The Jows party not used to these matches going this long. But the Colognes are like, we're fighting for our family's legacy. We're fighting for our our brother. We're fighting for our father. We're fighting for them. This is us showing the world what the Colognes are all about. Remember our legacy. Remember our family legacy. You can't keep us down. Shot to the midsection. Hands up with that. And the Lucha House Party, though, fighting for their... Fighting for what they believe in the luchador style, the lucha libre style. They are fighting for that. Saying, hey, lucha libre is all about having fun. It's all about being able to do some of the greatest things you've ever seen. Putting those ideas in your head of moves you never thought you'd see onto actual ring. And just being passionate about what you love. Being passionate about what you stand for. And doing this. And Lindsay proving it right now. Again, these masks 
mean the world to these men. And if you have matches like this, those masks get even more popular and more famous. And they mean a lot to these young men. And look at that shot right there. And Mel Leek's like, come on, man. Let's go. Let's close them out. We can do this. And Lindsay's going to go for it one more time. Lindsay, don't go to the well too much. Oh, shoot, he's star press. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Kalista trying to come in, but Almaro makes the save. Oh, my God. That's the thing about these six-man tag matches, man. You can eliminate everybody, but you got to knock out everybody. And Apico says, nope, not going to happen. Again, this. This is where it gets tough. This is where it gets grueling. This is where you have to now figure out how do you how do you pull through? How do you do this? Knocks down Epico and he's talking the smack, talking the trash, and e Primo from behind. Roll up! No, no, no! Another win with the and the Colognes are victorious. Wow, what a match, but what wild roll up, man. He saw no way out there than that. What toughness from the Lucha House Party. They put everything they had. Look at that counter. That was an impressive counter. Was going for Sanina Del Sol. Got countered into a power slam. But my God, the Colognes victorious. Put some respect on the Cologne name. Put some respect on the name. Definitely want to be in the conversation for Tag Team Championships now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you still haven't ordered the pay-per-view of Over the Limit, what are you doing? If you like the show, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Ladies and gentlemen, Over the Limit is coming soon, and you better be ready for the hell of a night SmackDown's gonna bring. Because we all know SmackDown's the A show. It's the A show. We're gonna put on the A pay-per-view. Thank you for watching the pre-show.